Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. And that's why I never sang on stage, I only danced. Um, so today we're gonna be making Saturday soup. Whoop whoop. Um, I've got my ingredients out, I'm gonna chop them up. I'll put all the ingredients list um, and how much I'm using in the description block, blocks, box down below. So you guys can give it a go. I absolutely love Saturday soup. I've actually only made it once, but Liam was obsessed with it. Um, I'm not using a scotch bonnet because I want Dre to try some and I'm not putting yam in it because, sorry, I'm not a massive fan of yam. Um, but other than that, I'm pretty much using all the ingredients that I used last time. So I thought I would do it as we go along. You guys can try it yourself. Let me know what you think. Um, if you've had Saturday soup before, you'll know it's just, it's just very, very good. Um, so first things first, I'm gonna cut up all of my veg. Sweet potato, carrots, corn on the cob, which I'm meant to like cut into like four or five pieces. And do you know how hard it is to cut corn on the cob? Um, onion, garlic, so I'm gonna get chopping on those. Alexa, play some Bob Marley. One tip to make sure you can peel your butternut squash because I don't know about you, but I absolutely hate peeling my butternut squash and um, microwave it to soften the skin a little bit. Helps. I'm struggling, guys. I'm struggling. I literally cannot. I cannot. Cut this corn on the cob. <sighs> oh, I cannot cut it. <sighs> I need Liam. <sighs> oh, I did an arm workout this morning as well. Ooh. Hey guys, we're now gonna de-skin the chicken, wash the chicken and season it up. So you will find with drumsticks, you want to make sure you've got nice clean hands and just work your way down the leg, down the drumstick with the fat, using your thumbs mainly. And then you'll get to a point where you literally can't pull it off anymore. So you want to grab, Oh, that's my microwave telling me butternut squash is ready. Grab some kitchen towel, just put it around the edge of the drumstick and pull it off. And then simple as that comes off at the end. So we're gonna do that to most of the, well, all of the drumsticks, um, wash it and then season it up. Again, I've got to that point where I can't pull it off anymore. I'm use some tissue. There we go. Okay, I've washed the chicken. We are now going to add some all purpose. I, used to, I like to use aromat. We're going to use some mixed herbs and salt and pepper to season up the chicken. the butternut squash using a different board because my chicken touched the other the other board so we need to cut the ends off and then we're going to peel it Okay, 
Okay, so now we're on to garlic. So I'm just going to use my garlic crusher, but you can just chop them as well. I've also realised, guys, I'm quite tight for time because um, my son needs picking up from nursery in about half an hour. So I think what I will probably do is do all the prep work now with you, and then once I'm back and I've put him down for his nap, I will come on again and we will carry on and we will carry on with the cooking part. So yeah, let's just make sure we've got all our prep ready. So then when I come back, we're good to go. For you, it'll be a, a hot second. For me, it will be about half an hour until I'm back with you. But anyway, let's just get on with our garlic. I will link this garlic crusher down below as well. For anyone who hates chopping up garlic, this is a fantastic little mechanism. <laughs> Okay, next we're gonna chop up our onion. I'm gonna use two onions because I'm kind of like making double from what I'm gonna be putting in the recipe down below. So I'm gonna be using two onions. Onions make you cry. Why? Why do they do that to your eye? And I say, Why? Why? Why do onions make your eyes cry? Why? Why do they do it that way? I don't like living this way. It's like a good joke. I don't know if you can see my eyes, but I'm crying. <laughs> oh. Oh, onions! I know there's a way that you can chop onions, guys, and apparently you don't cry, but... I mean, I've tried sunglasses. I think there's this thing where you put like a wooden spoon in your mouth. I mean, I've tried everything, guys. Okay, now we're on to the spring onions. I'm gonna chop up these bad boys. Just prepping now the ginger. You don't need an awful lot of this. Okay guys, I'm back. Dre's just gone down for his nap. So I've literally just got the big saucepan and I've just put in the water. I'm just waiting for that to boil up now. We're gonna add in our chicken the butternut squash, some salt and pepper, and then I think we're literally just gonna cook that for 20 minutes, like that. Cook through, soak up. You can as well, by the way, cut your chicken into pieces. I like to just cook them as legs and then let them sort of fall apart in a soup. Um, but if you want to come up, cut them up initially, you can do that as well. Hey guys, so the water is boiling nicely. I'm gonna add in my chicken. Now I'm going to season that with some salt and pepper. Okay, seasoned up with salt and pepper. I'm just going to leave this now to simmer and to cook for 20 minutes. Okay, 20 minutes later, this has been simmering very nicely. We're now going to add literally all of the rest of the ingredients apart from the thyme and dumplings. I mean, that's as well when you would add the scotch bonnet more towards the end, but we're literally going to be adding the corn on the cob, the butternut squash, the carrots, the onions, the spring onions, the garlic and the ginger now. Let's get it. Oh my God, I've just realised. Guys, I put the butternut squash in. I put the um, sweet potato in rather than the butternut squash. The sweet potato is going to be extra soft. Okay, carrots going in, corn on the cob going in, spring onions, normal onions going in, fresh ginger, garlic. 
all that veg. Oh, so good. So we've added all the ingredients now, apart from the thyme and the cock flavor soup. Um, so we are now gonna let that cook for 15 minutes. Okay guys, it's been 15 minutes. Just giving it a nice stir. Oh, sorry, steam. Look at that. You can see there's the chickens falling off already. It smells so good. My only concern is that the butternut squash is gonna be a little bit too hard and my sweet potato is gonna be a little bit too soft as I <laughs> completely got them mixed up. So now we're gonna add in some fresh thyme and a whole whole packet of one of these. Okay, so I've added the thyme and the soup mix and now I'm gonna let that cook again for another 15 minutes. You can just see here with the chicken, it's just falling off. Guys, it smells so good. This is perfect. You know, if you've got like a cold or you're feeling a bit like your immune system's low, this soup, all the ingredients, all the, all the seasonings is just gonna really help clear that. So I definitely recommend a Saturday soup if you're feeling under the weather. Saturday soup. It smells so so good. I'm gonna try it with you now. Oh god, it smells so good. Just so like hearty. Oh, oh, it's so good. Shall I try butternut squash and let you know what I think about the butternut squash? Like I said, the sweet potato is a bit too soft. I can see it's too soft. squash is all right actually oh it's so so good guys and the chicken is just falling off it's so so good so tasty full of so many vegetables oh just so so good I've also done some dumplings to dip in I like to fry mine um, but you can also add them into the soup as well it looks a bit burnt on the camera. It's golden brown, I promise, I promise. They taste so good. Dumped in the soup. Soaked in the soup, should I say. Right, if you guys give this Saturday soup a go, tag me. Let me know what you think of it. Make sure you put your butternut squash in before you use sweet potato. But really, I don't think it's made too much of a difference, just the sweet potato is a little bit too soft. Um, it is gorgeous, it is so tasty. Remember you can add yam, you can add a scotch bonnet in with the end. I've chosen not to because I want my son to try some. And yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a like, subscribe. Can't wait to see my next video. And enjoy your Saturday soup if you try it. See you later, bye.